Nan. A woman who is a member of a religious community and who usually promises to remain poor, unmarried and separate from the rest of society in order to serve God. Negativity. An attitude in which someone considers only the bad qualities of someone or something. Torment. To cause someone to feel extreme physical or mental pain. Cheek. Skin inside the mouth. Suspense. A feeling or state of nervousness or excitement caused by wondering what will happen. Banquet. A dinner held for many people, usually to celebrate a special event. Bound. To move with long, energetic steps. Throb. To beat with a strong, regular rhythm. Bilingual. Able to speak and understand two languages. Sweetheart. A kind or helpful person. Someone who is very nice. Opiate. A drug, such as morphine or codeine that is made from opium and that is used to reduce pain or cause sleep. Boo. A sound that people make to show they do not like or approve of someone or something. Handicapped. Having a physical or mental condition that limits what a person can do. Having a handicap. Sandal. A shoe consisting of a sole strapped to the foot. Bisexual. Sexually attracted to both men and women. Scorn. A feeling that someone or something is not worthy of any respect or approval. Accent. The style of word pronunciation. Fussy. Hard to please. Very careful about choosing something. Syllable. Any one of the parts into which a word is naturally divided when it is pronounced. Byline. A line at the beginning of a newspaper or magazine article that gives the writer's name. Astronaut. A person who travels in a spacecraft into outer space. Cosmic. Of or relating to the universe or outer space. Affectionately. Feeling or showing love. Enduring. Something that continues to exist in the same state or condition. Alienated. Describes a person who feels they no longer belong in a particular group society, etc., plus from impoverished, very poor community, medieval, of or relating to Europe's Middle Ages, exaggeration, the act of describing as larger or greater than what is true, a statement that has been enlarged beyond what is true, visibly, in a way that can be noted or observed, conspicuously, very easy to see or notice. Subtitle Words that appear on a video screen during a movie, video or television show and that show what the actors are saying. Awfully. Very or extremely. Visibility. How far or well a person can see. Canopy. Something that hangs or spreads out over an area. Recede. To become less clear or strong. Eyelash. One of the short hairs that grow from the edge of your eyelids. Shameless. Having or showing no shame. Whore. An offensive term for someone who engages in sex for money. Liver. A large organ of the body that produces bile and cleans the blood. Ballroom. A large room used for dances. Swollen. The state of being larger than normal. Gland. An organ in the body that makes a substance which is used by the body. Evergreen. A plant that has leaves that remain green all year long. Rusty. Covered with rust. A reddish substance that forms on iron or other metals. Usually when it comes in contact with moisture or air. Harass. To continue to annoy or upset someone over a period of time. Painstaking. Done with a lot of thought and care. Eruption. The act of something exploding. Illustration. A picture or drawing in a book. Magazine. Erotic. Relating to sex. Bookseller. A person or company that sells books. Brotherhood. Feelings of friendship, support, and understanding between people. Greed. A selfish desire to have more of something, especially money. Photography. The art, process, or job of taking pictures with a camera. Mundane. Lacking interest or excitement in. Dull. Abnormality. Something that is not usual. Expected. Or normal. Trek. To make a journey by walking. Elegance. Graceful and attractive. Bullying. 
Acts or written or spoken words intended to intimidate or harass a person or to cause physical harm to a person or his or her property. Suitcase. A large container used to carry clothing and belongings while traveling. Note. A small round growth on a plant stem where a leaf grows. Gown. A long, formal dress that a woman wears especially during a special event. Monologue. A long speech given by a character in a story, movie, play, etc., or by a performer. Slang. Words that are not considered part of the standard vocabulary of a language and that are used very informally in speech especially by a particular group of people. Beacon. Someone or something that guides or gives hope to others. Embankment. A raised bank or wall that is built to carry a roadway or hold back water. Preacher. A person who speaks publicly about religious subjects. Sermon. A speech about a moral or religious subject that is usually given by a religious leader. Parade. A group of people and vehicles moving together to celebrate a special event or anniversary. Jewel. A piece of jewelry such as a necklace or a bracelet that is made of valuable metal and precious stones. Usually plural. Assassin. A person who kills someone such as a famous or important person, usually for political reasons or for money. Upshine. To do better than someone or something. To earn more respect or attention than someone or something. Twisted. Harmed. Negatively affected. Strange and unpleasant. Not normal. Amicable. Showing a friendly desire to avoid disagreement and argument. Elegant. Graceful and attractive. Embody. To represent something in a clear and obvious way. Clutter. A crowded or confused mass or collection. Gregarious. Enjoying the company of other people. Sip. To drink. A liquid. Slowly by taking only small amounts into your mouth. Scarf. A piece of cloth worn around the neck of head. Vintage. Used to describe something that is not new but that is valued because of its good condition or design. Curiosity. The desire to learn or know more about something or someone. Chilly. Noticeably cold. Pierce. To cut a hole in the body to wear earrings or other jewelry. Sparkle. A lively quality. Shimmer. To shine with a light that seems to move slightly. Molten. Fused or liquefied by heat. Lava. Hot melted rock that comes out of a volcano. Dizzy. Having a whirling sensation in the head with a tendency to fall. Mentally confused. Horrified. Greatly upset and shocked. Tether. To use a rope or chain to tie. An animal. To something in order to keep it in a particular area. Ration. To control the amount of something. Tow. To pull a vehicle or a plane behind another vehicle or plane. Often with a rope or chain. Clergyman. A male religious leader. Crucify. To kill. Someone by nailing or tying his or her hands and feet to a cross. Christianity. The religion that is based on the teachings of Jesus Christ. Impulse. Desire to do something. Pearl. A hard. White. Round object made inside the shell of an oyster. Used to make jewelry. Carrot. A unit for measuring the weight of jewels. Such as diamonds. That is equal to 200 milligrams. Colon. A mark used to separate things in a list or an explanation. Burglary. Stealing. Robbery. Biographer. A person who writes the story of a real person's life. Soprano. The highest female singing voice in formal singing. Cube. An object that has six square sides. Apartment. A usually rented room or set of rooms that is part of a building and is used as a place to live. Coroner. A public official who reports on the cause of death of people. Caricature. A funny drawing of someone that makes part of their appearance or character more noticeable than it really is. Noble. A person who is a member of the highest social class in some countries. Glittering. Shining brightly. Respiratory. Of or relating to breathing. Hum. A low continuous sound. Contagious. Able to be passed from one person or animal to another by touching. Napkin. 
A piece of material, such as cloth or paper, used a table to wipe the lips or fingers and protect the clothes. Furry, covered with fur a hairy coat like an animal especially when it is soft and thick. Sacred, considered very holy. Entice, attract someone especially by offering or showing something appealing or interesting. Sarcastic. Using words that mean the opposite of what you really want to say especially in order to insult someone, to show irritation, or to be funny, mysterious, strange, unknown, or difficult to understand, antic, an attention drawing, often wildly playful or funny act or action, usually plural childish antics, saturate, to fill, something, completelgy with something, sadistic. Enjoyment that someone else is hurt or feels pain. Reinvigorate. To give life and energy to someone. Dysfunction. Limited or less than full operation. Canal. A long, narrow waterway. Calamity. An event that causes great harm and suffering. Corny. So simple. Sentimental. Or old-fashioned as to be annoying. Recite. To read. Something out loud or say, something, from memory sometimes for an audience, gardening, the activity of tending and cultivating an area of ground where plants, such as flowers or vegetables, are grown, bicycle, a two-wheeled vehicle that a person rides by pushing on foot pedals, souvenir, a keepsake or remembrance piece, rubble, broken pieces of stone or brick, downtown, the main or central part of a city or town, the part of a city or town where there are tall buildings, stores and offices, egalitarian, the idea that all should be treated equal, syndicate, a group of people or businesses that work together, feigned, very difficult to see, assignment, the act of giving out a job or duty, glare, a harsh, bright light, flustered, upset or nervous, Helmet, a hard hat that is worn to protect your head. Hatchet, a small axe, a tool used for cutting wood. Peel, to remove the skin from, a fruit or vegetable. Commemorate, to do something special in order to remember and honor, an important event or person from the past. Manifest, to appear of happen, awakening, recognition of something, melody. A pleasing series of musical notes that form the main part of a song or piece of music. Hay. Grass that has been cut and dried to be used as food for animals. Clump. A small ball or mass of something. Vile. Very bad or unpleasant. Filthy. Very dirty. Fickle. Changing often. Cemetery. A place where dead people are buried. Suburban. Living in or relating to a community near a big city. Drawn. To bring toward oneself or itself. As by inherent force or influence. Attract. Folding. The act of bending an object into a smaller shape. Consciously. Of or related to having knowledge of something. Slay. A large. Open vehicle that is usually pulled by a horse over snow or ice. Fictitious. Not true or real. Discreet. Not likely to be seen or noticed by many people. Blasphemy. Great disrespect shown to God or to something holy. Nomadic. A member of a group of people who move from place to place instead of living in one place all the time. Crossing. A voyage across water. Sensibility. Ability to feel and understand emotions. Butcher. Someone who cuts and sells meat in a shop or kills animals and prepares their meat to be eaten, despondent, very sad and without hope, behead, to cut off the head of, someone, especially as a punishment, interrogation, questioning someone sometimes harshly, seductive, tempting or attractive, picturesque, very pretty or charming, like a painted picture, figurehead, a person who is called the head of something but who has no real power. Prehistoric. Of. Relating to. Or existing in the time before people could write. Atomic. Of. Relating to. Or using the energy that is produced when atoms are split apart. Paramedic. 
a person whose job is to provide emergency medical care to sick or injured people who are being taken to a hospital, physician, medical doctor, detonate, to explode or to cause, something, such as a bomb, to explode, rupture, a break, opening or area of damage, makeup, substances such as lipstick or powder, used to make someone's face look more attractive. Bunker. A strong structure that is mostly underground that is meant to keep troops safe. Mythical. Imaginary. Something told about in stories but that is not real. Inflammatory. Causing anger. Threatened. To say that you will harm someone or do something unpleasant or unwanted especially in order to make someone do what you want. Daunting. Tending to make someone afraid or less confident. Very difficult to do or deal with. Unrequited. Not shared or returned by someone else. Sibling. A brother or sister. Cunning. Getting what is wanted by trickery. Serene. Calm and peaceful. Picnic. A meal that is eaten outdoors especially during a trip away from home. Mediocrity. The quality of something that is not very good. Mediocre. Not very good. Brainwash. To cause. Someone. To think or believe something by using methods that make a person unable to think normally. Coffin. A box in which a dead body is buried. Baffling. Very confusing. Highway. Colon a main road that connects cities. Towns. Etc. Cheeky. Showing a lack of respect in a playful way. Grandma. Colon the mother of one's father or mother. Rapport. To have good relations with someone. Tutor. A teacher who works with one student. Enshrine. Contain or keep in a place. Circus. A traveling show that is often performed in a tent and that typically includes trained animals. Clowns. Acrobats. Etc. Reconnaissance. A military activity in which soldiers find out information enemy forces. Memo. A usually brief written message from one person or department in an organization company, etc., to another, evacuation, the act of emptying a person or place, colony, an area that is controlled by or belongs to a country and is usually far away from it, deception, act of making something seem true that is not, staggered, organized in a way that parts of a group do something at different times instead of than having the group do something at the same time, cyclist, Someone who rides a bicycle. Heinous. Shockingly evil. Perverse. Contrary to accepted or expected standard of practice. Camper. A type of vehicle or special trailer that people can live and sleep in when they are traveling or camping. Wig. A hairpiece that you wear on your head to hide baldness or to change one's appearance. Chick. Following the current fashion or style. Fashionable and appealing. Rewarding. Giving a good feeling that you have done something valuable or important. Dental. Relating to teeth or the work dentists do. Correspondence. The activity of writing letters, emails or other written communications to others. Erosion. The gradual destruction of something by natural forces, such as water, wind, or ice. The process by which something is eroded or worn away. Missionary. A person who is sent to a foreign country to do religious work, such as to convince people to join a religion or to help people who are sick or poor. Heartfelt. Deeply felt. Very sincere. Tolerable. Good enough to be accepted but not very good. Polo. A game played by two teams of four players who ride horses while using long mallets to hit a wooden ball into a goal. Handcuff. To place restraints on a person's wrists, which prevent them from moving. Conversational. Relating to or suggesting informal talk. Rhetorical. Of. Relating to. Or concerned with the art of speaking or writing formally and effectively especially as a way to persuade or influence people. Spontaneous. Done or said in a natural and often sudden way and without a lot of thought or planning. Marrow. A soft substance that fills the bones of people and animals. Secular. Not religious. Brothel. 
A building in which prostitutes are available. Giggle. To laugh in a nervous or childlike way. Discretion. Being careful about what you say or do. Disproportionately. Done in a way that has or shows a difference that is not fair, reasonable, or expected. Alienate. To cause to become isolated or apart from the group. Unilateral. Involving only one group or country. Heirloom. A valuable object that is owned by a family for many years and passed from one generation to another. Disillusionment. Causing someone to stop believing that something is good, true, valuable, etc. Princess. A female member of a royal family. Descent. A way of going down something. Ethically. Involving a question of right or wrong behavior. Pint. A unit for measuring liquids that is equal to 0.473 liters. A glass of beer. Wink. To shut one eye briefly as a signal or in teasing. Cooperate. To act or work together. Devotion. A feeling of strong love or loyalty. Hearsay. Something heard from another person. Caravan. A group of animals and people traveling together on a long trip especially through a desert. Refurbish. To freshen or brighten up. Often by remodeling. Amenity. Something that makes life easier or more pleasant. Statistician. A person who collects and studies statistics. Superimpose. To place or lay something over something else. Metric. A standard of measurement. Blot. A mark of shame or dishonor. Paranoid. Feeling that others want to harm you. Having a mental disorder that causes people to falsely believe others want to harm them. Clarification. Making something easier to understand. Psychiatric. Related to medicine that deals with mental or emotional disorders. Blonde. Of a yellow or very light brown color. Complexion. The color or appearance of the skin especially on the face. Sighting. The observance of something rare or unusual. Petitioner. A person who asks for a legal case to be decided by a court. Impune. To criticize a person by suggesting that they are not honest or should not be trusted. Entrench. To establish. Handout. Something. Such as food. Clothing. Or money. That is given to someone who is poor. Precision. Exactness or accuracy. Poor. A small opening especially in an animal or plant, on by which matter passes through a membrane. Vicar. A priest in a certain area. Communion. A ceremony where Christians remember the death of Jesus Christ. Antithesis. The state of two things that are directly opposite to each other. Funded. Financed. Provided with money for a special purpose. Wreath. An arrangement of leaves or flowers in the shape of a circle. Disengage. To withdraw. To release or free from something. Insurgent. A person who fights against an established government. Consul. An official who works with visas. Livestock. Farm animals. Such as cows. Horses. And pigs. That are kept. Raised. And used by people. Pyre. A pile of wood for burning a dead body. Quagmire. A situation that is full of problems. Undercut. To sell something at a lower cost than another person or business. Anxiety. Fear or nervousness about what might happen. A feeling of wanting to do something very much. Garbage. Things that are thrown away. Or a stupid idea. Pandemic. A contagious disease that crosses into several countries. Decimate. To destroy a large number of people or equipment. Convoy. A group of vehicles. Scandalous. Involving immoral or shocking things that a person has done or is believed to have done. Emperor. A man who rules a group of countries that are controlled by one ruler or one government. Impersonal. Having or showing no interest in individual people or their feelings. Lacking emotional warmth. Sincerity. Being honest and saying or showing what you really feel or believe. Classification. An arrangement of people or things into groups based on ways that they are alike. Tenet. One of the principles on which a belief or theory is based. 
segregate to separate groups because of race or for some other reason. Harmony, a pleasing combination or arrangement of different things. Conjure, to make you think of something. Principled, existing or based on beliefs. Contraceptive, a drug or device such as birth control pills or a condom, that is used to prevent a woman from becoming pregnant. LAX, not careful enough, not strict enough. Density, the amount of something in a defined area. Eczema, an inflammatory condition of the skin characterized by redness, itching, and oozing vesicular lesions which become scaly, crusted, or hardened. Falsehood, an untrue statement. Discernible, observable, recognizable, coordination, organizing people and resources so they work correctly together, deferential, a way of behaving that shows respect for someone or something, hoop, in basketball, a metal ring that the ball must go through in order to score points, patriot, person who supported the American Revolutionary War for freedom from Britain, enjoin. Prevent from doing something. Grandparent. A parent of one's father or mother. Deductible. An amount of a claim not paid by an insurance company. Sanctuary. A place of refuge or protection. Flagrant. Not to be ignored. Systematic. Using a careful system or method. Handbook. A small book of instruction or guidance on a subject. Muck. Wet dirt or mud. Heaven. Something or some place that is very pleasant or good. Beard. The hair that grows from man's chin. A bot. To touch along an edge. Negligent. Failing to take care of something or someone. Grievance. A feeling of being treated unfairly. A criticism. Apprentice. A person who learns a job or skill. For a fixed time period by working for someone who is very good at that job or skill. Unattractive. Not beautiful, interesting, or pleasing. Sweatshop. A place where people work long hours for low pay in poor conditions. Porter. A person hired to carry luggage or other loads. Manpower. The number of people who are available to work. Sweat. Clear liquid that is produced by skin when the body is hot or nervous. Tangible. Able to be touched or felt. Abolition. The act of officially ending or stopping something. The act of abolishing something. Ambiguity. Something that does not have a single clear meaning. Prescriptive. Insulting. Overly harsh. Flap. A part of the wing that helps an airplane fly. Wedge. A tool used to split materials such as wood. Militia. A group of people who are not part of the armed forces of a country but are trained like soldiers. Taboo. Not acceptable to talk about or do. Wiggle. To move up and down or from side to side with short quick motions. Upheaval. A major change or period of change that causes a lot of conflict. Confusion. Or anger. Perish. To disappear or be destroyed. To cease to exist. Hot. A small and simple house or building. Cardboard. A stiff and thick kind of paper that is used especially for making boxes. Upkeep. The process of keeping something in good condition. The care or maintenance of buildings, equipment, etc. Dusk. The time when day changes into night and the sky begins to get darker. Frightening. Scary or causing fear. Abduct. To take. Someone. Away from a place by force. Kidnapper. To take away, someone by force usually in order to keep the person as a prisoner and demand money for returning the person. Abduction. To take someone away by force or against their will. Mortality. The quality or state of being a person or thing that is alive and therefore certain to die. The quality or state of being mortal. Compassionate. Feeling or showing concern for someone who is sick, hurt, poor, etc. Having or showing compassion. Slope. Having an upward or downward slant. P. A small, round, green seed that is eaten as a vegetable and that is formed in a seed case. Called a pod. Of a climbing plant. Instructor. A person who teaches a subject or skill. 
Someone who instructs people. Interviewer. Someone who asks questions, especially as part of a job. Unfaithful. Having a sexual relationship with someone who is not your wife, husband, or partner. Drunkenness. Caused by drinking too much alcohol. Distortion. Changes to the normal appearance of an image caused by the process of copying it. Tram. Vehicle that runs on a track or on rails and is usually used to carry groups of people for a short distance. Smoky. Filled with smoke. Imperialist. A powerful country or group of countries that attempts to change or influence the way people live in other, poorer countries. Cutter. A small military ship. Hive. A nest for bees. Sprinkle. To spread small pieces. Vista. A large and beautiful view of an area of land or water. Derelict. Piece of land or building not being used anymore and is in bad condition. Cruel. Describing people who hurt others and do not feel sorry about it. Unconscious. Not awake especially because of an injury. Drug. Etc. Consensual. Agreed to by all parties. Affirmative. Saying or showing that the answer is yes rather than no. Fishery. A part of the ocean where fish and other sea creatures are caught. Censure. To officially criticize someone or something strongly and publicly. Casually. Done without much thought, effort, or concern. Categorically. To say in a very strong, clear and definite way. Frigate. A military ship. Refrigerator. A device that is used to keep food cold. Zeal. A strong feeling of interest and enthusiasm that makes someone very eager or determined to do something. Clap. To hit the palms of your hands together usually more than once. Steward. A person who takes care of land or property of another person. Reservoir. A large lake that is used to supply water. Rabbit. A small animal that usually lives in holes in the ground and has long ears, soft fur, and back legs that are longer than its front legs. Blanket. A covering made of cloth that is used especially on a bed to keep you warm. Badger. To bother or annoy. Someone. With many comments or questions. Hasty. Don't or made too quickly. Dementia. A mental sickness that causes someone to be unable to think clearly or to understand what is real and what is not. Expulsion. The act of forcing someone to leave a place. Captivity. The state of being kept in a place, such as a prison or a cage, and not being able to leave or be free. Sway. To influence. To cause to move back and forth. Mammoth. Very large. Chatter. Casual talk that is usually not important or interesting. Talk among groups or people planning an event. Segregation. The practice or policy of keeping people of different races, religions, etc. separate from each other. Agony. Extreme mental or physical pain. And. Your mother or father's sister. Xenophobia. A state of fear or anger directed at foreigners. Pervert. A person whose behavior is not normal or acceptable. Strife. Very angry or violent disagreement between two or more people or groups. Upstage. To draw attention away from. Envy. Something that caused desire. Conservationist. Someone who works to protect animals, plants, and natural resources or to prevent the loss or waste of natural resources. A person who is involved in conservation. Ecologist. Someone who studies the relationships between groups of living things and their environments. Havoc. A situation in which there is much destruction or confusion. Decode. To discover the meaning of information provided. Spaghetti. A long stingy food known as pasta which is made from flour. Bishop. An official in some Christian religions who is ranked higher than a priest and is in charge of a geographical area. Inextricably. Closely joined or related. Receptive. Willing to listen to or accept ideas or suggestions. Willing to accept new situations. Polar. Of or relating to the North or South Pole or the region around it. Retort. 
A quick and often angry reply. Spouse. A husband or a wife. Unaccountable. Not required to explain actions or decisions. Conservation. The protection of animals, plants, and natural resources. Reproductive. Relating to or involved in the production of babies, young animals or new plants. Pheasant. A large bird that has a long tail and is often hunted for food or sport. Ideology. Set of ideas or beliefs. Proportional. Having a number or amount that is directly related to. Slur. An insulting remark about someone or someone's character. Diminish. To cause to become smaller or less important. Splinter. To divide or split a group of people into smaller groups. Exhaust. The mixture of gases produced by an engine. Vain. Having no success. Insurgency. A usually violent attempt to take control of a government, a rebellion or uprising. Devolve. To gradually go from an advanced state to a less advanced state, chiefly U.S. And close. To surround something. Exasperated. To feel very angry. Transcription. The act or process of making a written, printed, or typed copy of words that have been spoken. Nephew. A son of one's brother. Sister. A brother-in-law or sister-in-law. Rotten. Not morally good. Inaccuracy. Not correct. Embryonic. Showing that you are sure in yourself or your actions. Nostalgic. The feeling of both pleasure and sadness of remembering the past. Blockade. An act of war in which one country uses ships to stop people or supplies from entering or leaving another country. Fascism. A way of organizing a society in which a government ruled by a dictator controls the lives of the people and in which people are not allowed to disagree with the government. Plutonium. A radioactive element that is used to make nuclear energy and nuclear weapons. Hysteria. Extreme fear. Excitement or anger. Riddle. To make many holes in with something. Alienation. A withdrawing or separation of a person or a person's affections from an object or position of former attachment. Intern. An unpaid assistant. Usually still a student. Duration. The length of time that something exists or lasts. Barbaric. Very rude or offensive. Posterity. People in the future. Collusion. A secret cooperation for an illegal or dishonest purpose. Dupe. To trick or fool someone into doing something. Paranoia. A serious mental disorder. An unreasonable fear that people are trying to harm you. Resentful. To be angry at someone or something. Gravitate. To move to or toward something. Melt. To change or to cause. Something. To change from a solid to a liquid usually because of heat. Supplant. To take the place of. Nervously. Done in a way showing feelings of being worried and afraid about what might happen. Tarnish. To damage or ruin the good quality of a person's reputation. Eyewitness. A person who sees something happen and is able to describe it. Swelling. A condition in which a part or area of the body increases in size. Workout. A period of physical exercise or training. Instill. To gradually cause someone to have a feeling or attitude. Monotony. A situation in which something stays the same and is therefore boring. Recurrence. When something happens again or returns. Synthetic. Made by combining different substances. Not natural. Ruffle. To move or lift something so that it is no longer smooth. Tasty. Having a good flavor. Pleasing to the taste. Dissatisfaction. Feeling unhappiness or a lack of approval. Ceremonial. Without real power or influence. Discus. A heavy flat round object that people throw as far as they can as a sport. Cobblestone. A round stone used in paving streets. Collar. The part of a shirt. Coat. Etc. that goes around a person's neck. Cute. And NBSP. Having a pleasing and usually youthful appearance. Threadbare. Very thin and in bad condition from too much use. Drab. Not bright or colorful. Too plain or dull to be interesting.
lethargic, feeling a lack of energy or a lack of interest in doing things, resurgent, becoming popular, active or successful again after a period of being less so, contaminate, make something dirty or poisonous, gardener, one who spends time cultivating plants and tending a garden for pleasure or recreation, unwavering, continuing in a strong and steady way. Baron, unable to produce plants, diabolical, extremely evil, buffer, something that serve as a protection, devastated, completely destroyed, wriggle, to twist or move like a worm, invigorate, to give strength or energy to, chilling, frightening, belly, the part of an animal's body that is like a person's belly, gobble, to take something quickly or suddenly, relinquish, to give up, dismay, causing someone to feel worried or shocked, banish, colon to force, someone, to leave a country as punishment, to send, someone or something, away, bisect, to cut in half, gifted, having great natural ability, improbable, unlikely to be true or to occur. Revere, to hold very high in respect, fairway, the part of a golf course that has short grass and that lies between a tee and a green, botch, do something badly due to carelessness of lack of skill, faltering, to weaken or fail, decorum, correct or proper behavior that shows respect and good manners. Scapegoat, an innocent person who is blamed for a bad act. Nutrition, eating the right kind of food so you can grow and be healthy. Stale, no longer new. Getting old. Magician, a performer who does tricks that seem to be impossible. Restless, having little or no rest or sleep. Passionately, showing or having strong emotions. Ambush, to attack by surprise from a hidden place. Kiss. A touch of the lips is a sign of love or greeting. Appalling. To horrify. To cause extreme concern. Dribble. To move a ball or puck forward by tapping, bouncing, or kicking it. Humility. The quality or state of not thinking you are better than other people. The quality or state of being humble. Shepherd. A person whose job is to take care of sheep. Sometimes used figuratively. Condone. To forgive or approve, something that is considered wrong, to allow, something that is considered wrong, to continue, often used in negative statements, vertical, positioned up and down rather than from side to side, going straight up, strut, to walk in a confident and proud way. Sap, the watery juice inside a plant, duel, a fight between two people that includes the use of weapons such as guns or swords, and that usually happens while other people watch. Psyche, the human mind or spirit. Empathy, the ability to share someone else's feelings. Ethos, the guiding beliefs of a person, group, or organization. Fern, a plant that has large, soft leaves and no flowers. Blemish, a fact or event that causes people to respect someone or something less. Duly, in the expected way. Hull, the main body of a ship or other vessel. Gunpowder, an explosive mixture of potassium nitrate, charcoal, and sulfur used in gunnery and blasting. Cousin, a child of your uncle or aunt. Puff, a short, explosive burst of wind. Whitewash, a white liquid mixture used for making surfaces, such as walls or fences wider. Also, a planned effort to hide a dishonest, immoral, or illegal act or situation. Salient, relating to a striking point or quality. Bloom, a flower, a time period a plant has many open flowers. Sow, to plant seeds in an area of ground. Coax, to work or cause something to do something. Inconsistency, the quality or fact of not staying the same at different times. Irritable. Fiery or testy, easy to anger. Carrot, the long orange root of a plant that is eaten as a vegetable. Astound, to surprise of shock someone very much. Vomit, a sickness that causes food, liquid, etc.
in your stomach to come out through your mouth. Ragged. In bad condition especially because of being torn. Rugged. Having a rough, uneven surface. Fortuitous. Happening by chance. Precautionary. Something that is done to prevent possible harm in the future. Shackle. One of two rings that are placed around a person's wrists or ankles and that are connected by a chain. Tribal. Of or relating to a group of people that includes many families and relatives who have the same language, customs, and beliefs. Innate. Inborn or natural. Debris. Broken pieces of something. Bowl. A round container that has tall, curving sides and that is used for preparing or serving foods and liquids. Homesick. Sad because you are away from your family and home. Impersonate. To pretend to be another person. Envious. Feeling or showing a desire to have what someone else has. Nip. To injure or make numb with cold. Scrape. To remove from a surface by rubbing an object or tool in one direction. Undignified. Lacking self-control in behavior or appearance. Aggregate. A total amount. Negate. To cause something to not be effective. Scavenger. A person who searches through food waste and other unwanted objects for something that can be saved or used. Verification. Knowing that something is true. Glimmer. A small amount or sign of something. Spicy. Flavored with many herbs. Disgusted. Very bothered. Sickened or angry about something. Tremble. To shake slightly because you are afraid. Nervous or excited. Barge. A boat that is used to carry goods on rivers and in canals. Vent. An opening through which air, steam, smoke, liquid, etc. can go into or out. Ultimatum. A statement that you will do something that will affect someone badly if they do not do what you want. Talisman. An object believed to bring good luck or to keep its owner safe from harm. Priceless. Extremely valuable or important. Scotch. A kind of whiskey that is made in Scotland. Rust. A reddish color that can form on objects made of iron. Scheme. To move quickly or lightly along, above, or near the surface of something. Ridiculously. Extremely or unreasonably. Uncharacteristic. Not typical or usual. Dimensional. Relating to something with height. Width and depth. Wobble. A very small movement. Glowing. Having a warm color. Impulsive. Doing things suddenly and without careful thought. Detrimental. Causing damage or injury. Mistakenly. Accidentally. Doing something by accident. Flutter. To flap the wings rapidly. Butterflies fluttering among the flowers. To move with quick wavering or flapping motions. A sail fluttering in the wind. To vibrate in irregular spasms his heart fluttered. To move about or behave in an agitated aimless manner she nervously fluttered around the office. Tease. To annoy or bother an animal. Chorus. Part of a song that is repeated. A large organized group of singers. Hangover. The unpleasant effects of something that happened at an earlier time. A sick feeling that comes after drinking too much alcohol at an earlier time. Majestic. Very beautiful or powerful in a way that people admire. Beforehand. Before a particular time or event. Karate. A form of fighting that was developed in Japan in which your feet and hands are used to kick and hit an opponent. Heartbreaking. Causing great sadness. Disappointment. Etc. Prolific. Producing a large amount of something. Separatist. A member of a group of people who want to form a new country or religion that is separate from the one they are in now. Baton. A thin stick that is used by a music conductor to let a band or orchestra. A credit. To say that something is good enough to be given official approval. Enclosure. An area that is surrounded by a wall or fence. An enclosed space. Predicament. A difficult or unpleasant situation. Castigate. To severely criticize. Thick. Having a close and friendly relationship. Realm. An area of activity. Interest or knowledge. Socket. A hollow part in a bone that holds an eye. 
a tooth, or another bone. Gripping. Very interesting and exciting. Brilliance. Intense light or brightness. Pelvis. The wide curved bones between the spine and the leg bones. Ambulance. A vehicle equipped for taking sick or injured people to and from the hospital. Acupuncture. A method of relieving pain or curing illness by placing needles into a person's skin at particular points on the body. Centigrade. A scale that goes from 0 to 100. The same as Celsius. Chin. The part of the face below the mouth and above the neck. Devoid. Completely without. Repetitive. Happening again and again. Repeated many times. Ejection. The action of forcing or throwing something out. Annoyed. Slightly angry. Irritated. Counterproductive. Having the opposite of the desired effect. Familiarity. The state of knowing about something. Fad. Something. Such as an interest or fashion. That is very popular for a short time. Vigilant. Careful to notice problems or signs of danger. Archaeological. Related to the science that deals with past human life and activities and the study of bones, tools and objects of ancient people. Backpack. A piece of equipment designed for carrying something, usually on the back. Villa. A large house or estate that is usually located in the country. Demon. An evil spirit. Prejudiced. Having or showing an unfair feeling of dislike for a person or group because of race, sex, religion, etc. Lever. A bar or rod that is used to operate or adjust something on a machine, vehicle, device, etc. Allied. Joined in a relationship in which people, groups, countries etc. agree to work together. Linear. Forming a straight line. Bombastic. Speech or writing meant to sound important but is not sincere. Checkpoint. A place where people and cars are searched before being allowed to continue. Lush. Having a lot of full and healthy growth. Tropical. To drink. A liquid. Slowly by taking only small amounts into your mouth. Dazzling. To greatly impress or surprise someone by being very attractive or exciting. Hardy. Large enough to satisfy hunger. Sincere. Honest. To show true feelings. Repetition. The act of saying or doing something again. Plateau. A large flat area of land that is higher than other areas of land around it. Alternate. Other than the usual. Bach. To refuse to do what someone else wants you to do. Interchangeable. Capable of being used in place of each other. Disseminate. To spread or give out news, information, ideas, etc. to many people. Tortoise. A kind of turtle that lives on land. Linguist. A person who speaks or studies languages. Acclimate. To adjust or adapt to a new climate, place, or situation. Usually plus two. Discourse. A long talk or piece of writing about a subject. Exponential. Very fast. Drawer. A box that slides into and out of a piece of furniture, such as a desk, and that is used to store things. Snapshot. A quick view or a small amount of information that tells you a little about what someone or something is like. Palpable. Obvious and noticeable. Bare. Not covered. Reassemble. To put back together. Bamboo. A tall plant with hard hollow stems that are used for building and to make furniture, tools, etc. Capitalist. A political and economic system in which industry is owned privately for profit and not by the state. Habitat. The place or type of place where a plant or animal naturally or normally lives or grows. Fusion. A process in which the nuclei of atoms are joined. Remembrance. Something that is done or made to honor the memory of a person, thing, or event. Essay. A short piece of writing that tells a person's thoughts or opinions about a subject. Mercury. A silver metal that is liquid at normal temperatures. Assortment. A group or collection of different things. Intuitive. Easily and quickly learned or understood. Panorama. A full and wide view of something. Composite. 
made of different parts or elements, especially in layers. Pod, a part that can be separated from the main part. Cocoon, something that wraps around you completely, especially to protect you. Autopilot, a device that directs a ship, aircraft, or spacecraft in place of a person. Customize, to change something in order to fit the needs of a person. Staircase, a set of stairs and its supporting structures. Hotline, a telephone service available to the general public. Immune, not capable of being affected by a disease. Backup, help or support provided by additional people or things. Hamster, a small animal that is kept in some homes. Variable, something that changes or that can be changed. Something that varies. Peak. A brief look, brood, very strong, elementary, first grades of school, untapped, available but not used. Specialize, to limit your business or area of study to one specific subject. Intractable, not easily managed. Molecule, the smallest possible amount of a particular substance that has all the characteristics of the substance. Diaper, a cloth worn by a baby. Silhouette, a dark shape in front of a light background. Unregulated, not controlled by law or government action. Paradise, a perfect place or situation. Bogus, not real or genuine. Extinct, a creature that no longer exists. Ambient, surrounding on all sides. So, to make or repair something, such as a piece of clothing by using a needle and thread. Sleeve, the part of a jacket or shirt that covers the arm. Molecular, relating to the smallest possible amount of a particular substance that has all the characteristics of that substance. Nanotechnology, the science of working with atoms and molecules to build devices, such as robots, that are extremely small. Shark, a large and often dangerous fish with sharp teeth. Backslide. To return to a worse condition. Neon. A colorless gas. Lamp. A device that produces light. Prelude. Something that happens before another event or activity. Metaphor. A way of describing something by comparing it with something else that has some of the same qualities. Rumor. Information or a story that is passed from person to person but has not been proven to be true. Bookmark. Internet address used to quickly find things on a regular basis, informally, in a way that is not suited for serious or official speech and writing. Remnant, the part of something that is left when the other parts are gone. Technologist, someone who is an expert in technology. Infinite, having no limits. Distracted, unable to think about or pay attention to something. Toast, to make. Food such as bread, crisp and brown by heat, sanity, the condition of having a healthy mind, the condition of being sane, vacuum, an empty space without air or gas, addicted, unable to stop using a harmful substance, such as a drug, willpower, the ability to control yourself, strong determination that allows you to do something difficult, such as to lose weight or quit smoking, Solitary, separate from other people or things. Evangelist, person who speaks in public and urges people to become Christians. Evaporation, when water turns to a gas because of heat. Watt, a unit for measuring electrical power. Impervious, not permitting passage, not able to be harmed. Abruptly, sudden and unexpected. Overdraft. To withdraw more money from an account than is available. Transit. Related to the act of moving people or things from one place to another. Outreach. The activity or process of bringing information or services to people. Captive. Captured and kept in a prison. Cage. Etc. Propagate. To make known to many people. Irony. A situation that is strange or funny because things happen in a way that seems to be the opposite of what you expected. Inaugurate. A ceremony to swear in someone, such as a newly elected official, into a job or position. 
hatch, an opening in the deck of a ship or in the floor, wall, or roof of a building, foolproof, done, made, or planned so well that nothing can go wrong, postulate, to suggest or accept that a theory or idea is true, module, a part of a computer or a computer program that can be combined or completed to build something, aggregation, a group, microcosm, something, such as a place or an event, that is seen as a small version of something much larger, referral, the act of sending someone to another person or place for treatment, help or advice, elated, very happy and excited, inexpensive, reasonable in price, genome, the total amount of genetic information in the chromosomes of an organism, roar, the sound made by a lion, occupancy, the act of living in or using a particular place, unreliable, not able to be trusted to do or provide what is needed or promised, not believable or trustworthy, buff, a person who is very interested in something and who knows a lot about it, extradite, to send a person who has been accused of a crime to another state or country for trial, graffiti, Pictures or words painted or drawn on a wall or building. Swarm. A large group of bugs. Concerted. Agreed on. Common or collective. Diffuse. Spread out over a large space. Not concentrated in one area. Unmask. To reveal the true identity or nature of someone or something. Spore. A cell made by some plants that is like a seed and can produce a new plant. Organism an individual living thing, embodiment, someone or something that is a perfect example of a quality or an idea, stimulus, something that causes a change or a reaction, bathroom, a room with a bath or shower, sink and a toilet, astonish, to cause a feeling of great wonder or surprise in someone, forefather, a person from an earlier time who helped to create or start something modern or important, Frontier, a border between two countries. Foggy, unsure or confused. Lingerie, women's underwear and clothing that is worn in bed. Clarion, loud and clear. Intermission, a short break between the parts of a performance, such as a play, movie, or concert. Fingertip, the end of a finger. Instantaneous, happening very quickly, in an instant. Prohibitive. So high that people are prevented from using or buying something. Honey. A thick, sweet substance made by bees. That people can eat. Flyer. A piece of paper with information on it such as an announcement or advertisement. Glamorous. Very exciting and attractive. Mingle. To bring or mix together with someone or something else. Corpse. A dead body. Annoying. To cause. Someone, to feel slightly angry, unrelenting, not slowing down, stopping, or growing weaker, distinctly, different in a way that you can see, hear, smell or feel, noticeably different, masquerade, a party at which people wear masks and often costumes, reproduction, the process by which plants and animals give rise to offspring, abstain, to choose not to do or have something, Entitlement, a government program designed to help one or more groups, evidently, in a way that can be easily seen or noticed, manageable, easy to control or deal with, sphere, a round object, maneuver, a skillful action or movement, subversive, secretly trying to ruin or destroy a government, political system, etc., iris, the colored part of your eye, ascertain, to discover something, bloodthirsty, eager for or marked by the shedding of blood, violence, or killing. Booth, a temporary structure for shelter or some other purpose, layer, an amount of something that is spread over an area, compass, a device that is used to find direction by means of a needle that always points north, footprint, a track or mark left by a foot or shoe, conditional used to describe something, such as an agreement, that will happen only if something else also happens. Cosmopolitan, 
having people from many different parts of the world. Clique, a small group of people who spend time together and who are sometimes not friendly to other people. Efficacy, the power to produce a desired result or effect. Bellicose, warlike, ready to argue or fight. Energetic, having or showing a lot of energy. Scenery, view of natural features, such as mountains, hills or valleys, that is pleasing to look at. Haphazard, the basic equipment and structures, such as roads and bridges, that are needed for a country, region, or organization to function properly. Cliff, a high, steep surface of rock, earth, or ice. Fountain, an outdoor, stone structure that water flows through. Inconvenient causing trouble or problems. Randomly, done without a plan or pattern, carefree, having no worries or troubles. Avenge, to harm or punish someone who has harmed you or someone or something that you care about. Deed, a legal document that shows who owns a building or piece of land. Crooked, not honest or trustworthy. Stupendous, so large or great that it amazes you. Butter. A solid yellow substance made from milk or cream that is spread on food or used in cooking. Freeway. A long, wide road. Usually used by traffic traveling fast over long distances. Pad. A flat area on the ground where helicopters can take off or land. Patron. A person who gives money and support to an artist or organization. Brutality. Cruel. Harsh or violent treatment. Detract. To reduce the value or importance of something. Entirety. The whole or total amount. Imitate. To copy. Someone's or something's behavior. Sound or appearance. Pronounce. To say or speak. A word. Correctly. Spreadsheet. A computer program that calculates numbers and organizes information in columns and rows. Proprietary. Something produced and used under an exclusive right. Karaoke, a form of entertainment in which a device plays the music of popular songs and people sing the words to the songs they choose. Subway, a system of underground trains in a city. Sparse, present only in small amounts, less than necessary or normal. Synthesizer, electronic machine that produces and controls sound and can be used for reproducing speech. Tidy, clean and organized. Not messy. Homework. Work that a student is given to do at home. Pronunciation. A particular person's way of pronouncing a word or the words of a language. Simultaneous. Happening at the same time. Unparalleled. Not found elsewhere. Classy. Showing impressive character. Very good. Kind. Etc. Indignation. Anger caused by something that is unfair or wrong spontaneously, done or said in a natural and often sudden way, horsepower, a unit for measuring the power of an engine, canvas, a strong rough cloth used to bags, tents, sails and for painting, indistinguishable, impossible to see or hear as different or separate, hotbed, a place where something grows or develops easily, a place where something happens very commonly, undergraduate, a student at a college or university who has not yet earned a degree. Evoke. To bring. A memory. Feeling. Image. Etc. into the mind. Glue. To make. Something. Stick to something else by using glue. Emanate. To come out from. Deleterious. Damaging or harmful. Decay. The process or result of being slowly destroyed by natural processes. Mutation. A change in the genes of a plant or animal that causes physical characteristics that are different from what is normal. Critique. A careful judgment about something's quality. Amusement. An activity that entertains or causes someone to have fun. Norm. Standards of proper or acceptable behavior. Dormant. Not active but able to become active. Ingenuity. Skill or ability that permits people to solve problems. Quotient. The amount of level to which a certain quality exists. Motif. A single or repeated design. 
symphony, a long piece of music that is usually in four large, separate sections and that is performed by an orchestra, pony, a small horse, a bat, to help, encourage or support a criminal. Unauthorized, done without official or legal permission, acute, requiring short-term medical care, lasting a short time, suction, the act or process of removing the air, water, etc., from a space in order to pull something into that space or in order to cause something to stick to a surface, vibration, a continuous slight shaking movement, a series of small, fast movements back and forth or from side to side, certification, documentation, a written guarantee, authoritative, respected and considered to be accurate, 